This is the TVNews.TV, brought to you by American Ingenuity Media, simply the solution for innovative on-air promotion, video marketing, plus internet and social marketing. Visit them at AmericanIngenuityTV.com and on Facebook. Here now is Jeff Grimshaw. We welcome you to the TV News. It's Friday, February 3rd. And we begin with a short story. Back in the mid-80s, on my very first day at Turner Broadcasting, being a New Yorker, I was feeling pretty much out of place. I was alone at lunch in the corporate cafeteria, lovingly named Shea Ted. An attractive blonde sat down next to me, struck up a wonderful conversation, and unbeknownst to me, she was the queen of headline news. And she would go on to become one of the prolific all-time anchors at CNN. In that initial conversation, I knew that I had made the right decision to work for Turner because of the good people there. So why am I telling you all of this? Because that very person, Bobby Batista, is now our newest contributor here at the TV News.TV. So without further ado, here now is Bobby Batista and her Eye on the News report. Thank you, Jeff. As Jeff said, I'll be joining the TV News each week for a look at all that's current and worthy of comment in the business of broadcast journalism, or TV news as we like to call it. A good place to start this week, Fox News, marking a major milestone, a decade now as the number one cable news operation. Politics aside, and as a former anchor for many years at CNN, it pains me to do so, but I must extend congratulations to Fox News for a job well done. Although I have trouble in principle with openly biased news organizations, from a business standpoint, Roger Ailes knocked one out of the park. He identified a perceived problem in the mainstream news media that they all leaned too far to the left and found himself a rather large niche market by offering an alternative view. From a content standpoint, Fox broke through more than a few barriers, the most obvious being that female anchors could be smart and sexy at the same time cleavage and commentary. It's almost standard now in the industry. Roger introduced slick graphics and sound effects, a faster story pace, and encouraged commentary from his anchors. And he hired incendiary personalities like Bill O'Reilly and Sean Hannity. He gave them big soap boxes and lots of freedom of expression. CNN's longtime philosophy had been the news is the star. Roger knew better. He hired well and invested in his people. Roger is one of the best PR and marketing guys in the business, and for better or worse, he redefined television news as infotainment. He took the staid out of broadcast and cable news, and I might add, a bit of the gravitas with it, but he recognized a lot of viewers like a little sugar with their medicine. CNN had ruled the roost unchallenged for a long time, and it only took Fox five years to amass a larger audience. It caught CNN off guard, and it spawned the creation of MSNBC as a counterpoint. The cable news wars were now off and running. So all in all, you got to tip your hat to Roger Ailes and Fox News. It'll be interesting to see where TV news is headed in the next 10 years. Will the lines blur even more between fact and opinion, serious and silly? Will we see network and cable news operations merge in order to survive? And who will be the standard bearers of truth and accuracy? And will that even matter anymore? Fox News will certainly still be around. And if Roger Ailes is still leading the network, I would expect to see him leading the way. I'm Bobby Batista. I'll be back next week with my eye on the news. Thank you, Bobby. Masterfully crafted. We are very lucky to have both you and Bill Tush with us. We will be back with the Sports TV News right after this. Specially formulated to meet your specific needs, the Monavi elements are revolutionizing how you approach your health. Built on the Monavi BioEssence Promise, each of these health pack supplements works with your body to promote your best self. Monavi, a more meaningful life. All right, time now for a visit from Eric Mackerlin, who delivers the Sports TV News. Hi, Jeff. Good to be back on the Sports TV News on the Friday before the Super Bowl. Or for those of you without a sponsorship agreement with the NFL, just the big game. The question on our minds today, how big will the number be for the big game? When we know this, the last four years in a row, total viewership for the Super Bowl has increased every year. Last year, we had 111 million viewers for the Super Bowl between Pittsburgh and Green Bay, the most watched television event in U.S. history. Incredibly impressive number, and all the more impressive 
when you realize that neither Pittsburgh nor Green Bay is exactly a Nielsen powerhouse. So what are we going to have this year? Well, you just got to take a look at the facts. On one sideline, you've got the New York Giants from the number one Nielsen market in the country. On the other, the New England Patriots from the number six market in the country. For the Giants, we have Eli Manning, brother of Peyton Manning. He's going to be playing the Super Bowl in the stadium that his brother Peyton built. On the other sideline, you've got Tom Brady, perhaps the greatest quarterback in NFL history and maybe the most telegenic presence the league has ever had. Put it all together, we're going to have an eye-popping number, my friends. We're going to go over that 111 million number. I think we may go 112, 113. It's going to be a great game, a great day for sports, and a great day for sports television. Really, it's what's bigger. Nothing's bigger. This is it. It's the biggest day in our industry. Sit down in front of the TV, enjoy the game, enjoy the commercials, and we'll see you next week. Events and opportunities brought to you by Monavi, the leader in community commerce with a suite of health and wellness products. Right here, right now, Monavi. Visit them at monavi.com. So, you want one of these official TV news mugs? Oh, sure, you can go and buy one. We're giving one away each and every week. For your chance to win one, just like the TV news.tv on Facebook and then watch the TV news. Your chance to win begins Monday, February 6th. We want you as a sponsor of the TV news so you can talk to the entire TV industry in our native tongue, video. To learn more about how you can leverage the power of the TV news, email us at advertise at the TV news.tv. Hey, remember Monday, the only weekly video report about Latino TV and more happens with our exclusive Hispanic media report. And that about does it for this edition of the TV News. I'm Jeff Grimshaw. We thank you for watching. And as always, go out and make it a good day. Watching.